battle tonight, including the fate of a widely used and controversial abortion pill. Our White House correspondent John Decker joins us live for a closer look. John, late Friday, the Supreme Court ruled Mifepristone will remain widely available nationwide. Now, as a lawyer, can you just give us some insight on what's next in this legal process? Well, that's right. Uh, that was late Friday, 7-2 to two vote uh, in which the Supreme Court voted not to have any restrictions in place for the prescribed use of mifepristone, that abortion pill, nationwide. So now what happens? This issue go now goes back down to the Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals that's based in New Orleans, very conservative court. They have to decide the bigger issue. The bigger issue is whether or not a federal judge based in Amarillo, Texas, had the authority to undo the results of the Food and Drug Administration. Essentially, he overruled the FDA uh, 20 years after they approved Mifepristone for its wide use across the country. Now that Fifth Circuit Court of Appeals has to decide whether or not it was in the purview, the authority of that federal district court judge in Amarillo to do just that. Whoever loses at that level, Erica, will then likely appeal to the U.S. Supreme Court. Then they will decide side on that issue. As far as timing is concerned, we're looking likely at it getting to the Supreme Court if it gets up there on appeal in the full term and a decision by the Supreme Court likely coming in the spring of 2024, right in the middle of the 2024 presidential campaign. Now, John, not too far behind you today, President Biden met in the Oval Office with three state lawmakers from Tennessee, known as the Tennessee Three. What was the purpose of today's meeting, and do you anticipate this affecting gun control legislation since that mass shooting there in Nashville? The president wanted to focus attention once again on the issue of mass shootings, the, the role that uh, lawmakers can play in bringing what the White House would call common sense legislation to try to see if they can uh, see these events reduced significantly. And that was the reason for this meeting with these three lawmakers, two of whom were essentially kicked out of the legislature. Now they've been reinstated. Uh, as far as what's happening in Tennessee, there is no movement in terms of the state legislature as it relates to gun control legislation. So difficult when you talk about Tennessee. After all, it is uh, a, a state in which there is a gun culture. Uh, most households in the state majority of households in the state uh, have guns in their household and it's just so difficult when you factor in that to have lawmakers take an action which may be at odds with what their constituents want to see happen. And John, looking ahead, President Biden is sometime soon set to officially announce his re-election campaign. What do we know so far about this announcement? This is likely to come tomorrow. A video will be dropped by the Biden re-election campaign. It won't be a campaign event, Erica. It won't be a big campaign rally in a battleground state like Pennsylvania, for instance. Instead, it's just going to be a video, a video touting the accomplishments of the Biden administration during the first two and a half years of Biden's term in the White House and what he would like to accomplish if he's elected to a second four-year term in the White House. All right, John Decker from outside the White House tonight. We thank you for being with us.